What's up guys, my name is Grady Alec. I'm an embedded software engineer, and I'm also an online master's in computer science student at Georgia Tech. Today, I wanna to talk about my imposter syndrome experience as a software engineer, and I want this to be a casual conversation between you and I, but the reason why I wanna share about this is because I strongly believe that the more we talk about this, the more open we're about this, the easier it is to uh, fight this imposter syndrome. And I, I truly believe that people can experience imposter syndrome in any area of their life, right? So wherever you might be struggling with, that, that might be related to you and what you're doing. So, but this is purely my experience and things I've gone through and things I've felt. And I, I'm also gonna share about how I've been able to fight against it, I guess. Uh, the voice in my head that says that, oh, that you're someday People are gonna figure out that you're an imposter, that you're a fraud. Like you don't know this stuff. Like you don't you don't have the answers for everything, right? I would be happy to hear about your guys' stories or or if you actually experience imposter syndrome down in the comment section. Honestly, I felt like an imposter many, many times throughout my career and throughout my school experience. And I think it really started off when I went to and study electrical engineering. That's actually where I got my bachelor's in. I was working as a TA at my school. So when I was doing that, as, as I started off, it, it just felt like, it just felt like, who am I to tell these students like how to solve a problem or how to guide them to figure out an answer? Like, I don't know this stuff. Like, this is like the first time I'm doing this. Like, why would I be qualified to do this? Like, like sooner or later, my bosses at the tutoring center or or my teacher for TA, they're, they're gonna figure out that I'm an imposter. Like, they know that I don't know stuff, right? Over time, I started to receive some really good feedback from the students uh, as a TA and a tutor. And I just realized that, wow, like, I, I must be doing something right because they're coming back and telling me that, oh, I did a really good job and like, I helped them and it just really benefited them and overall. I'm looking at this and I'm like, why is this voice in my head saying that I'm, I'm not good enough for this or I'm like, sooner or later these students are gonna figure out that I don't know all the answers, right? Like, how, like what's going on? Like, is, is that wrong? Like that's, and I just, I just started to realize that is wrong. Like the positive feedback from the students helped me to overcome that uh, imposter part of my life. During my current position as an embedded software engineer, when I first started off, I, um, I, I started feeling like an imposter again. I, I just felt like um, this, this was a completely new position, not completely new position for me, but there were a lot of things that I didn't know. And I felt like I should be knowing these things. I, sh I should be knowing all these answers, but I, I don't know why I felt that, right? I don't know why the voice in my head was saying like, you know, that you, you, gotta, you gotta know all this stuff. Like you, you have to be able to do this. Like before my first performance review with my, with my boss, I just felt like I was underperforming. I felt like they're gonna figure out that I'm an imposter, like that I don't know all the answers. Like things, things I was doing was like, I was like tasked with writing out architecture for our new software. And I was like, I've never done this before. You know, like you guys realized that I did electrical engineering as my undergrad, right? Like I don't, I don't know this stuff, right? I don't know, I've never taken a software engineering class. Like what the heck? But I just, in my head, I was like, okay, I gotta do this. You know, fake it till you make it, right? Fake it till you make it. <laughs> and. Honestly, and I, I thought like, I'm just gonna keep faking it, like, but they're gonna realize that I'm an imposter and they're gonna fire me then, right? The, the first performance review is gonna come up and they're gonna know that I'm just a fraud here. Like, I, I don't know everything. And I just felt so depressed. Like, I just felt like I was letting the team down. I, I felt like I didn't know all the answers. I didn't know exactly how to do and execute this. So I just went with what I knew. I asked a lot of questions from the senior engineers and, and how to do these things and how to execute on this better. I just felt defeated in a lot of the cases and uh, it, it was a very tough time for me when I initially started off. And during my first performance review, my boss, she says like one of the first things she says is, 
well, we've been really impressed how you've been performing and how you've been doing things and how you work and how you work for the team and that you play for the team and it's, it's, it's amazing, right? And I'm just like, girl, like, what are you talking about? Like, you, you realize that I haven't known like every single answer you've asked, essentially. Like, and I don't know exactly how to do these things, but yet you're still saying that I've been exceptional at my performance, right? Like, what is, what is this? Like, what kind of, uh, what, what are you expecting? And she's like, well, yeah, you've been, you've been doing a really great job. Like, as, a, as an engineer, we don't expect you to know every single answer. Like, that's part of engineering. You figure things out as you go, you learn them, and you have the capacity to do that, that uh, you take the time and the effort to learn about it. You, you make decisions on how to execute it, and that's, that's really important. That's, that is engineering. Like, you, engineers don't know everything. So if you're new to engineering, know that you don't have to know everything, but you should be putting in the effort to figure things out and how to make them work and work with the team and ask questions and do all that. So I, I think that's really important, but it was, it was just a really tough time for me to know that I've been, I've been telling this to myself for like multiple months that I suck, right? I don't know these answers. Like, they're gonna fire me. I just like, I was expecting that. I, w I knew that I was just gonna get fired. They they're gonna know an imposter, right? I don't, I don't know everything. They're gonna know I'm an imposter, right? But the, the opposite happened, right? So this whole time, I was just lying to myself. I was, I was depressed because of it. And, and the, because of the positive feedback that I received from my boss, I was able to realize that, wow, you know, I'm doing something right. I'm, I'm telling myself constantly these lies that I'm an imposter, that they're gonna figure out that I'm fraud, right? But in reality, that is not true. In reality, I am, I'm actually doing well, but I didn't know that. I didn't know what other people were thinking. I didn't ask them. So I, I really feel like the positive feedback and the pos positivity from, from your peers or your mentors, your, um, your bosses, that really helps uh, or help, has helped me personally to conquer this and fight this and realize that, you know, things, things aren't as I'm thinking in my head and the reality is different. So if you are in a management position or anything like that, I would strongly encourage you to talk to your uh, employees underneath you and and just tell them that you know they're they're performing well they're doing a good job or or give them constructive feedback and like things that they're doing well things that they could improve on and i think that feedback really helps those people to realize that you know they're they're doing well what can they do better um, and and helps them to face the reality that um, sometimes that that what, whatever they're thinking in their head isn't isn't true right that is my imposter syndrome experience as a software engineer. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the like button, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, and keep up the good work, and I'll see you next time.